Alright, today I'm just going to make a short video to show you how to use a clamp meter and also a short review of these two uh, clamp meters which is a Fluke 337 and a Fluke 336 so let's get started so first let's take a look at these two clamp meters um, unlike traditional multimeter which is powered this one here which is powered by a 9 volt battery these Fluke clamp meter is powered by two AA batteries so it is a lot cheaper uh, to replace and this battery is easier to find too. These clamp meters have automatic shut off so it will turn off uh, automatically if you just let it idle for maybe 10-15 minutes unlike the traditional mode meter. This one here you forgot to turn it off it will stay on until the battery dies. There are two jacks below here. You can plug in your test lead. And the test lead itself has a alligator clip. So you can just plug it in like that. And now it becomes an alligator clip, which is very convenient and easy to use. These two meters are almost identical, except just a few little detail. Uh, the Fluke 337 can measure amperage up to a thousand amp for both AC and DC. The 336 model can, on, can only measure up to 600 amp for both AC and DC. You can see here they are almost identical except that there's another function, the Hertz function. Uh, that's it, almost exactly the same. There's a hold button on the side. There's a backlight button. Uh, the 337 also has an extra minimum and max button. But other than that, they're pretty much the same. You can see here the voltage function also has one decimal place. So it's only accurate up to the tenth. So you need something that's more a little more accurate, accurate that can give you more digits, and uh, you know, probably need uh, different kind of meters because this is mostly designed to measure amp with the clamps. Also for DC, it only has one decimal place. Here I have my Sunny Boy grid tie solar inverter, and it's running right now. And I want to use my clamp meter to measure the current that's coming into my um, inverter. And because my inverter is hardwired directly to my solar panel and the grid, so the value here should be accurate. And I'm going to use that value as a, uh, a standard to compare with my clamp meter to see if my clamp meter is accurate. The way you use this clamp meter is you only clamp on a single wire. You don't clamp on both wires. Uh, you don't clamp on the whole bundle of wires. Just one single wire at a time. So for DC current, there are two wires, right? One positive, one negative. You only clamp on either the positive wire or the negative wire. One single wire at a time. For AC, usually you got three wires, right? Hot, neutral, and ground. So you only clamp on either the neutral or the hot. One single wire at a time. So what happens when you clamp on all of the wires at the same time? You're going to get a value of zero instead of getting any reading at all. Alright, let's take a look at the screen on my uh, Sony Boy inverter here. Let's see how much it's uh, currently produced. Wait for it. 1711 watts and 254 volts right so from there we can do the math to calculate how many amp that is so I'm going to use my clamp meter and clamp on a single wire here let me zoom out a little bit I got this single wire this is a DC wire line input that goes into my inverter 
and I got my clap meter to set up to DC amp and let's see how accurate it is and see there we got about what 7 7.1 amp DC right 6.8 6.9 so let's say 7 amp DC this is the Fluke 337 right let's try the other one This is the Fluke 336. See how accurate that is. And I got it to amp DC. Let me zero it. Okay, it's zero. Six point nine or seven. So that is pretty much the same as the other one. So so around seven amp average. Right. So let's do the math to see if uh, these clamp meters are accurate. All right, so here is my calculation. We got 1711 watts at 254 volt DC. This is my solar array voltage. If we do the math, the amp DC is about is exactly not about but exactly 6.74 amp, and this value came from my uh, sunny boy inverter so it should be accurate it's hard wire right uh, into my uh, solar array system and the clamp meter value is 7 amp so if you do the math the accuracy is about four percent that is pretty impressive that's pretty accurate especially these are not new these are used and who knows when was the last time these are uh, you know these were calibrated Next, let's measure some AC current. So I have my meter set to amp AC. And uh, I got my wires here. And first let me show you what happens when you clamp the whole thing, the whole bundle of wires together. So this, this is AC wire. It's got um, hot, neutral, and ground. Right? There are three wires. And if I clamp on all three wires, You can see their value is still zero, 0 0.1, around zero. So that's nothing if I clamp all three wires. And to measure it, to really measure it the right way, is to clamp only on a single wire. So I got my black wire, which is a hot wire. Clamp on a single wire. I got about 0 0.5, 0 0.6 amp. Right. So I have, I currently have some lamps plugged in and my computer plugged in, and then they consume only about what, 50, 60 watts. So that's what we get: 0 0.6 amp AC at about 120 volts. All right. So show you again: we clamp on the whole bundle. I get nothing. Right, so let's try something more powerful so we can get a bigger value out of the uh, AC amp here. You got this plugged in, and uh, let's see. You see there, it's uh, when it first started, it runs at about 7 amp. So the motor requires a lot more power to start. But once it's uh, already started, it runs continuously around 3 to 4, 3 or 4 amp. It's not under load though. It might be more when it's under load. There's a button on the meter that says in rush, and that's what it's uh, uh, used for to measure the maximum amount of current required to start a motor like this one. So let me clamp on this again and show you again. Okay, so I press on in brush now.
okay so give me you four bars and now when I start this motor it's gonna give me the maximum amount of current and we, we keep that value so you know exactly uh, the amount of current required to start this motor which is 17 amp I was wrong at 7 amp it's 17 amp AC required to start this motor next what I want to do is want to measure how many amp my car requires to start the engine and uh, because this thing can measure up to a thousand amp so it should be no problem here so I have my Fluke 337 uh, clamp to my wire right there it's pretty cramped right there so I have to put it upside down but uh, no worries because uh, my camera can go upside down so let's see how many amp does it take to start my engine this is a four cylinder Toyota Corolla it's very small engine 1.8 liter so let's see how many amps it takes all right here we go I'm ready let's start the car So as you can see in the video, it takes 228 amp max. Even though just for a brief moment, uh, two, oh, over 200 amps DC, 12 volts, uh, to be able to start my car. This is a Toyota Corolla with 1.8 liter engine. I'm also uh, curious to see how many amp my headlight consumes. And this tool is going to be perfect for that. So I turn on my headlights, and it's not just the headlight, but this yellow light on the on the side too also turns on. So there's two lights on this side, same on the other side there. So there are four bulbs turning on at the moment. But the headlight consumes a lot more than uh, that light over there. Right? And we have about 11.5. It's upside down. There we go, 11.5 amp DC. And that's for four bolts. Two on this side and two on the other side. So you can do the math to measure exactly how many amp or how many watts each light consume. Uh, all I have to do is just, uh, I can just remove uh, that single light and, and I can calculate individually how many lights each, uh, how many watts each light consumes. So in this case, um, all my headlights when being turned on, they all consume about 11 amp or 11 times 12, that's 132 watts for all four lights. 132 watts, that's a lot of power. So maybe you can convert this into LED, uh, it's going to be a lot cheaper to run because it's going to be a lot less power required. Right, so there you have it, just a short video to show how these work and uh, a short review of these uh, clamp meters and you know, even though they are expensive, they are very useful and they are easy to use and they are accurate. So I would say they, you know, they are worth every penny and they are the best in their class. Alright folks, and uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.